Hey, 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 people. News reaching us is that the king of the dance hall, Cinderella Sanyo. Yes, she is the king of the dance hall, not the queen. No, no, no. King of the dance hall has finally done her Coachella. She has formally introduced her boyfriend, Prince Joel Okuyo Atiku, to her parents. This Kuchala, Kuchala is a pre-wedding event. It's where the two families meet and have discussions, small intimate discussions about the dowry and other formalities that will lead up to the marriage. So this happened over the, the, the weekend. Yes, and she posted a small, small clip on her Instagram page where she was standing with Joel and their two mothers on both sides, and she captioned it very nicely. She wrote their special moments with our mothers. Isn't that just beautiful? Yes, so that is what give, gave us a glimpse to know that, oh, things are happening, things are cooking up. These guys are really serious and they're going in for the long haul. We saw Cindy honoring her mother also at her boom party concert. This was a very, very mega, big concert massive concert it was such a big success cinderella was able to fill the whole of lugogo cricket over stadium to the brim people were so many and believe you me she did not disappoint she did not disappoint and she earned her right to be called the king of the dance hall she performed so well she changed into different costumes with her dancers oh Everything was just on point. And that almost at the end of the show, she actually honored her mother and thanked her for supporting her dream to become a musician, to become an artist. As you know, African parents, it's not very easy for them to embrace that side of things. They always want people to go through school and become professionals. But she wanted to venture into the arts and the mother supported her. So she's a very, very big mommy's girl. And we see it here also as she honors her mother and Joel's mother in that caption. So Joel has been in the background. You know those friends that are always there supporting you, you know, just seeing you through your hustles. He has been in the background for three years. He has been there. And Joel, in his own right, he is an actor, a fully established actor. He is a model, he's a photographer, and he's a lecturer at Uganda Christian University, that is UCU, where he actually graduated with a bachelor's in social works and social administration. So Joel's understanding of the arts industry actually enables him to fully be able to understand Cindy and, you know, just support her in her endeavors in the music industry and also now in the movie industry. Cinderella Sanyo has ventured into movies. For those of you who have not seen, her first movie was called Bella. If you have not watched this movie, please run, run to YouTube, run to a Cineplex, and just catch this movie it was so awesome it showed the journey of all those people who want to go into arts into stardom into music the journey how, how you get there how your talent is able to be realized and supported and just put out to the world it was a beautiful story and cinderella did justice to this story to show how someone can come from rugs riches yes and they have acted together joel and cindy have acted together in some of these movies and they have kept it so very professional and uh, they've done a good job if you have not seen november tears very nice movie 
in the local dialect of, of the, the Western cultures, it's very nice. They acted together and also in Bella, they acted together. But Joel has been seen in big, big movies, big movies, including Kony, he acted there. Order from Above, Joel acted there and Black and White, just to mention but a few. So he's a renowned actor in his own right and he fully, fully understands the industry and thus is able to support Cinderella to fully just utilize her talents and be the best she can be. Cindy was dressed so very simply and, you know, elegant and simple. She kept it very simple. For some of us were expecting her to, you know, <laughs> dress up in a very crazy and, you know, flashy way. But, you know, because she's the king of the dance hall, I mean, but she went for the simple and classy look. She wore a half gomesi. We use the, the, the gomesi was made from chikoi. It was a half gomesi and the accessories were really simple. And later on, she changed into a chinyoro traditional attire, but also with very minimal accessories, but still keeping it classy, keeping it elegant. And Prince Joel was in a kanzu and a gray suit, and he looked handsome, he looked sharp in that. Yes, so for those who don't know Cindy, I mean, if you don't know Cindy, <laughs> get out of Uganda. <laughs> yeah, but the, for those who do not know Cindy, I'll just give you a brief, brief background that we all know Cindy, the king of the dance, what I mean. Yeah, so Cindy was part of Blue 3. That was a Coca-Cola pop star group. There were three. It was a trio group that had Cinderella Sanyo, it had Jackie Chandiru, and it had Lillian Bavazi. So they used to sing together and do very beautiful songs together. And unfortunately, the group broke up and they all took different individual parts in their careers and they continued singing for us and Cinderella has been doing collabs up to date with Ugandan musicians, fellow female artists and male artists in Uganda, in East Africa, in Africa. She does not limit herself. She really goes out and she pushes hard. She has written some of these songs. She has designed some of the clothes that they wear on these sets. She's really a talent to reckon with. Yeah, she has also opened a cosmetics business. She calls it Cindy Sanyu Beauty, where she sells lipsticks. And in their different shades and colors, they're really unique. They're really amazing. So people have been whispering that Cindy might be pregnant. <laughs> yes, Cindy has a daughter from her first relationship with Mario Brunette. She has a beautiful daughter from that relationship. And she has been looking a bit chubby, if you ask me, but it's okay. It's okay because they are looking at being together for the long haul. So why not? Why not? If she's pregnant, good for her. Because anyway, <laughs> that is what they, they're looking for. And her daughter, we want a playmate. I mean, there's no harm in that. So we wish them the very best. We look forward to the Kwanjula. We look forward to the wedding. We just, oh my God, these people are just a good fit for each other as they support each other. It will be just the best, the best, the best that they can be. And for us, we are here for it. We congratulate them and we wish them the very best in their new journey, in their marriage.